Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into this Thursday edition of Cronkite Sports Now. We have a football packed show as we get closer to the weekend. Today on Cronkite Sports Now, the Sun Devils prep for a duck hunt against Oregon, the son of a football legend making a name for himself, and ASU basketball is ready to get back on the court. These stories and more coming your way on Cronkite Sports Now. What's up, everyone, and happy Thursday. I'm Brady Klein, and welcome to Cronkite Sports Now. For ASU football, the last four weeks could be easily forgotten with four straight losses. But the Sun Devils will be looking for a big-time win this week as the Oregon Ducks waddle their way into Tempe for a primetime kickoff on ABC. Oregon, uh, obviously, very experienced football team on both sides of the football really good defensively, don't give up a lot of points, um, play, play a lot of man-to-man -man in the secondary, that'd be a good test for us. Uh, offensively, pretty balanced, they've got a veteran offensive line, they like to run the football, uh, quarterback obviously is very talented, uh, one, of, one of the better quarterbacks in the country, uh, so uh, we'll have our hands full with these guys. As the Sun Devils get, host, get set to host the Ducks this weekend, they'll be relying on some legacy legs featured previously on Cronkite Sports Now. In a lot of ways, this has been a breakout season for ASU kicker Christian Zendejas, the son of ASU great Louis Zendejas, got an opportunity to be the main kicker for ASU when starter Brandon Reese went down with an injury earlier this season. Christian stepped up and went eight for eight in field goals in his first three games, and his efforts earned him a full scholarship. Now, Reese has announced he'll be transferring from ASU for his final two years of eligibility surprising Zendejas and the rest of the staff. Yeah, it was just a surprise overall in the whole, everything that just happened, but I mean, I'm happy for him as long as he goes to a place that he wants to kick at. I'm just trying to focus on this next game, you know, and just keep working and like, Lord willing, I'll be here next year too. The latest college football playoff rankings were released this past Tuesday with minimal changes happening to the top 10. It still remains LSU at the top spot with Ohio State being slotted in at number two and Clemson and Georgia rounding out the top four. And now Mac Jones-led Alabama team remains fifth after the injury to Tua Tungavailoa. Three of the top five teams belong to the SEC, with one representative from the Big Ten and ACC. This week's game will be highlighted by a top ten matchup between Big Ten championship hopefuls Ohio State and Penn State. Spots six and seven remain untouched with two schools from the Pac-12, Oregon and Utah respectively. Three teams with 9-1 and one records will finish out the top 10 with the always dangerous Penn State Nittany Lions at 8, the Oklahoma Sooners at 9, and the Golden Gophers of Minnesota ranked 10th, completing this week's top 10 in college football. There's one football player at Hamilton High School who is grateful and proud of where he comes from, but still works on a daily basis to carve out a name of his own. Reporter Anthony Totry caught up with the wide receiver who hopes to one day be nameless. At Hamilton High School, there's a young man with the number two printed on a jersey he wears every Friday night. He's praised as a leader by teammates and coaches with a work ethic that won't run out until he's reached the status of legend. That young man is Brendan. Yes, sir. Everyone knows that on the field that he can get the ball any play, anywhere, anytime. Brendan plays wide receiver for the Huskies, and he's in the midst of a senior season during which he committed to play Division I football at the University of Colorado and was selected to play in the 2020 All-America game. But being a great wide receiver isn't new to Brendan, because doing so runs in the family. And once people know that, they often only see him as one thing. Jerry Rice's son. Jerry Rice's son off the bat. While Brendan is grateful to have the last name Rice and be proud of his father being widely considered the greatest wide receiver in NFL history, it's a constant reminder of who and what people say he has to live up to. You really have to look at it as like a blessing, but at the same time it's my greatest downfall because I don't want to be recognized as just Jerry Rice's son. I want to be recognized as Brendan Rice. I think you just let him know that, you know, that's what he accomplished. This is what this person accomplished. What will you do? Being the son of an NFL Hall of Famer is one thing. Taking the criticism, verbal abuse from opponents and expectations are another. Just people saying, be Rice, who will never live up to your name. Win the day. Win the day. 
And when the critics come calling, that's when Brendan earned his 21 collegiate offers and racked up 26 varsity touchdowns and counting in just three years. Those were the days that fueled the fire of a star in the making. I, I want to be better than Jerry Rice. I want to be the greatest receiver of all time. He's learned to do the things he doesn't want to do to be good at the things that he wants to do. While he strives to one day be the best to ever play and surpass his father as the greatest wide receiver in NFL history, Brendan isn't looking to be the next great Rice. Rather, he hopes to one day be so much more. I want to go about this. I want to make my own brand as nameless and leave my mark on the world forever. I want to leave my mark doing things around the community as well as doing stuff in the football field. And that's what it truly means to me. Brennan will have another opportunity to showcase his unique talent this Saturday as the Hamilton Huskies take on the Saguaro Sabercats in the Arizona High School Open Division semifinals. As football programs work toward potential playoffs, ASU basketball is taking the court for just the fourth time this season. Reporter Rob Werner takes us to Tempe, where the team is ready for challenges on the horizon. ASU men's basketball dropped its season opener to Colorado in China, but then returned home to Tempe, knocking off Central Connecticut State and Ryder in convincing fashion. Next up for the Sun Devils is a road trip as they head east to take on St. John's, and if the Sun Devils win that game, they might face off against the defending national champion, Virginia Cavaliers. Head coach Bobby Hurley said this opportunity early on in the season could prove extremely valuable for his team. I think it's important to do that. I think you test your team all the time. You, you, uh, you find out through you know, some failure sometimes what, what you got to get better at and how you got to improve. And, and uh, you don't do that by just staying at home and, and not seeking out the best competition you can get. The 2-1 and one Sun Devils will face off against St. John's on Saturday with tip set for 12.30 p.m. In Tempe, Rob Warner, Cronkite News. Coming off their shutout win over the Kings Monday, the Coyotes are back on home ice tonight with the Maple Leafs in town. Head coach Rick Tockett has, a ba has to balance a heavy schedule against off days. And despite less reps in practice, he's impressed with how sharp the team has remained. Got to give these guys a lot of credit. We haven't had a practice in two to three weeks. And for them to do what they're doing right now, it's hard because, you know, you don't get the reps we're doing a lot more video than we usually do. Um, so for them to lock it in the last two, especially, you know, Calgary's a really tough team to play. You know, um, LA's had three game winning streaks. So to, to have back to back, that's special. But I got to give them credit because they've been locked in. Not to practice is really tough in this league. The Oats will take on Scottsdale native Austin Matthews and the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight at Gila River Arena. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Cronkite Sports Now. For Arizona sports stories from around the valley, visit the Cronkite Sports tab on ArizonaSports.com. And as always, for top Arizona news stories, head over to our website at cronkitenews.azpbs.org and be sure to tune in tonight at 5 p.m. on Arizona PBS for our nightly newscast. On behalf of the entire Cronkite Sports Now crew, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow, same place, same time.